Mental illness proves that God is the realest thing ever. Okay? Because you can't see it, but you know it's there, right? And what you think about will manifest. If you keep saying that you're depressed, you will stay depressed. And honestly, you kind of sort of deserve that shit, okay? I know that sounds harsh, but... Anything you focus on gets bigger. If you focus on God, he's going to prove himself. And if you keep focusing on all the evil in this world, that's all you're going to think about. And you're going to forget God's grace. And you're going to forget all of the amazing things that God has still provided for you in this world. And yes, I, I got my car taken care of, by the way. And they told me that my brakes are just squeaking. I just have to deal with it. They said that my pads are fine. But anyway, I'm so glad you're concerned. I've had like three hours of sleep. Oh, I need to put on pants. I keep forgetting. Pants are important, right? <laughs> like I have leggings on, but it got chilly really quick. Cause it was a pretty long ass summer, was it not? Thank you, weather machine. We love you, weather machine. Yes, anything you focus on gets bigger. We cannot stress that enough. That's why I don't go to AA meetings anymore. I know I have this recovery triangle, AKA Freemason demonic satanic symbol embedded into my wrist back when I was recovery cattle that was going to three meetings a day. I should have known that there was something like weird about me because I was enjoying that shit. Most people don't enjoy it until they get addicted to it. I was doing it because of my like identity politics. All, all politics is identity politics, so it doesn't even have to be like about actual politics. Like, if you identify as religious, that's identity politics. If you identify as a recovering alcoholic, that's identity politics. People really aren't bigger picture people. They're just not. They're not seeing the whole game. They're only seeing like a few plays and they think that they know what they're talking about. They haven't studied the game, okay? See, I don't want to focus on the fact that I used to be a failure via vodka. I don't want to focus on that. I get that not everybody in a 12-step program is doing that. I get that there are like people that benefit from it. I mean, I work the steps and I see that, you know, much like, you know, the word of God changes you. It's like, because I legit work the steps, it's like, I see that manifest in my life. You know, the, the 12th step is practicing these principles in all of our affairs and I think that that's something that a lot of them miss. Like if they're just sitting in meetings all the time, they're not practicing those principles because you have to go out into the real world. And I remember people telling me that, like these old timers were telling me that, that it's like imperative that you, you know, go out and live your life rather than just
sit in a fucking church basement all the time. You know, sometimes I, I miss that. Sometimes I I kind of want to go back. But then it's like narcissistic reasons. You know, it's just my ego. It's like, you should go back and school them. You know? <laughs> That's terrible. That's so terrible. Like, <laughs> let me show you how it's really done. You know? This is what recovery is truly about. That's why I haven't been here in 11 years. You know? The last time I went to a meeting, it was only to pick up a chip for my mom because she's the only one that cares about my sobriety. She's the only one that remembers my sobriety date. I can't even remember it most of the time. But, uh... Let's see what time it is. Oh, damn. It's 4G phone, it pisses me all the way off that they forced me to upgrade to 4G. Because they're eliminating the 3G technology because they figured, well, everybody else caved in, so. Crazy bitch, you gotta cave in too. No. Not get a smartphone. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you again. The thing is, though, man. They're coming out with all these phones, like old school phones. So they got the light phone, they got two different versions of the light phone, and then they have the wise phone. And my friend just told me about this. There's like a rotary phone that some bitch invented. Uh, so that's cool. I might have to get that. That sounds amazing. Um, it's amazing. realize like how much I just contradicted myself with like getting excited about technological advancements. The new technolo technological advancements are going to be old school. So people that don't want to waste away on the internet. I, I mean I, I do think that it's a growing number of people though. Like I said back in 2007 and more people are going to be looking up to somebody like me because we knew all along that the technology was anti-Christ, okay? Whether you believe in the Holy Trinity or not, doesn't matter. I think that everybody can attest to the fact that there is evil in this world. There are bad things in this world. And any kind of technology that robs you of your humanity is not positive, okay? So, the people that are real in this world, the people that have self-awareness and want to grow as people rather than just rest on their laurels and blame everybody else for their problems, those people are going to listen to somebody like me, no matter how crazy we are. Because crazy people make a lot more sense. We're only crazy because... We don't fit in. We don't want to fit in. Who would want to fit in with this shit world? Come the fuck on, dude. Dude, I need another hat. Yes, you do. Hotep hat. I am a hotep because I'm at peace. Can you imagine a schizophrenic being at peace? Who would have thought? Only through the Holy Spirit, folks. 